it going? Oh my god, it's live. Hi. Are you live? Hi! Hi! How are you? It's really happening. Live Whoa, from New Jersey. Yes. Hey, you made a sign. Wait, let me grab that sign from you. Yeah, hold it up. This is amazing. If we can get tape, we gotta put this I'll up. I'll tell you what, we made our own Thank sign. Thank you for making this. That's pretty good, but yeah. I think yours is better. What do you think is better? Is it is it this uh, piece of duct tape that says talk it off or this giant sign you made? Probably the giant sign, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Just hold it there for the whole podcast. This is me now. This is yeah. what I'm going to do. Oh, the podcast has started 30 seconds ago and it's already been derailed, so that's good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks for coming. Beautiful day out. <laughs> so those who don't know, because there, there's going to be people listening at home, uh, we're going from New Jersey. This show is last minute, the most last minute show we've ever put together in Set It Off history. Um, because we were supposed to play a show, one of the bands had a situation, they had to postpone three shows, and we're like, well, let's try to put together a show. And this is one we got to put together, so uh, shout out Asbury Lanes for helping us put this together. Really Ooh. appreciate y'all. And we're like, let's make it special. Let's do the podcast live. We've never done it. <laughs> First time ever. Yeah. yeah. Doing uh, a podcast in a diner slash bowling alley slash hotel slash yes. venue. Yes. <laughs> Which is really fun, honestly. I love it. I love it. We, were, we started here yesterday, and we're like, oh, we're at a beach, man. This is going to be great. Let's go yeah. out. We're going to throw the football in the sand. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess what? It's going to rain for 24 fucking hours. <laughs> it's been more than that now. It's yeah. crazy. Uh, every time I've left the bandwagon, like, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm getting out of my bunk. I'm going to be like, oh, I've got to go use the bathroom outside. I open the door. It's like... <laughs> It's like being hit in the face with cold. It's like the cold's like, fuck you! Also, <laughs> uh, props to some, I saw some of you were standing out there in that. You guys are troopers, so thank you for being so patient throughout this craziness and this weather. Yeah. Um, this it's, is crazy. It's, it's, I, gotta, I gotta tell you, this is a lot different than playing like a rock show or, <laughs> or doing a podcast in your living room without a spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But I feel like, like I'm used to this, all this energy coming in on stage, like, like running up, there like we go. flailing around and here I'm just sitting you in just a chair. You just open the curtain. We're sitting down. <laughs> Hi. There was no here. intro. It was just, we're here. <laughs> we're like, this do we make it. an intro? Do we make a song? We're like, no, yeah. let's just do it. Let's keep it low key. <laughs> yeah. It's been really fun though. I think this is like when we first started the podcast, we had this idea to do it live yeah, like yeah, right yeah. away. And we were like, well, let's give it a few yeah, minutes. We'll, we'll plan it out for years and years and it'll never happen. And then <laughs> we're like, hey, well, let's just do it tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. What's amazing is, uh, so we, we obviously stopped doing the podcast for a while. I don't know if you knew this. We're also in a band. And so we were doing <laughs> yeah, some yeah. music stuff. Yeah. Um, and so we weren't doing the podcast for a while. And the, the reaction that we got of people being like, can you please bring it back? Um, it was thanks to you. We wouldn't be doing this yeah. if it wasn't for that. So, so. thanks for, for everybody that's been listening. We really appreciate it because this whole thing started from, we did that digital show a while back during the pandemic and we did like a Q&A thing. And during that, um, it was, we were just hanging out, talking. Yeah. And we were making like this grown man laugh his ass off and we don't know at all. Yeah, we so didn't we know him like, well. And we're, we're like, like you, like, know what? Oh, you think we're funny? <laughs> <laughs> Let's give this a go. yeah, yeah. So that's kind of stemmed from what we're going to be ending this with, which is a Q and A. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. We actually got a couple things planned. So we've got a Q and A, and then later in the podcast, I don't know if you've seen these. <laughs> oh, we dude. should explain this. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, so we've actually already uh, recorded two episodes that are unreleased right now. Uh, and before that, there was a moment not on the podcast where we were just—it was a late night. We were delirious, and what we have here in this cup is raw gin. <laughs> um, doesn't like seem like of, much, right? Yeah. <laughs> It feels like an episode of Fear Factor that's like not... Uh, it's it, not high stakes enough. Not high stakes at all. What we have here is an apple. And we were <laughs> thinking, what would happen if Zach ate an apple? No, so I, every now and then if I'm feeling like my voice is feeling a little rough or something, I'll just like cut up some raw ginger and I'll bite into it. And it's an anti-inflammatory, so it's like really good for you. But if you haven't done this, you may have had pickled ginger with like, you know, your sushi or something. The intensity of this thing is out of control. It sucks ass. Yeah. <laughs> So I took a bite of it. And is that, you're, you're already like, I know what I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes to food. Yeah, you always try and peg me as a picky eater. You're a picky eater. Fuck you, I'm not a picky eater. You You're always like say, a, no, just, stop. You guys always say that I only like chicken nuggets. And nappy juice. Yeah. And it's not true. I like a pickled okay, relish every me, now and then. <laughs> you, you, what, what did you say yesterday? You had it yesterday. You're like, I don't know if I was going to like it. Yeah, I got it on the side. But yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, isn't aren't relishes pickles? No, 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 no. There's uh, different types of relishes. Pickled onions. This is the highlight of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's but, discuss different types of relish. I'm not that picky, and I did try this though. And what I didn't know is that I I thought it was gonna taste bad, right? Like I knew that yeah, whatever this is, not I'm great. not gonna enjoy it. But I didn't think it was gonna have a fucking sensation, dude. <laughs> It's like spicy and like bitter and Dude, hot. His his face turned red <laughs> and he went like this, like as if he was gonna fan this spice away from <laughs> I haven't laughed this hard on tour in a long time. Yeah. And Mac our video I forgot like the tail end of our reaction, which I don't know if it's have we already released the video? Yeah. I think we did. I, I think know, so. Uh, we did release it. But we didn't get the moment of you doing it, so we're like, we gotta do it on the podcast. Yeah. So yeah, we figured yeah. what better day than do it in front of an audience. <laughs> Also, at the end of that uh, the update that we did this in, I was like pretending to be drunk, and I was doing too good of a job. Oh, you were doing a great and job. My parents were like, "Hey, are you okay?" <laughs> I was like, "It was a bit, mom. Come on." Say twenty text. Like, we need to talk. <laughs> we uh, we have been on tour though. We're yeah, we we're, we're currently on a tour yeah, right yeah. now. Uh, Simple Plan and Sum Forty One. Don't know if you've ever heard of them. Yeah, yeah. they're pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there we go. Woo woo. Um, and, and it's been a blast. It's been nice. It still feels weird because I obviously went two years without touring. There was this yeah. whole pandemic, you know. Um, and uh, I'm still kind of like getting into the swing of things. So we, we uh, travel in a moving house. Yeah. And uh, each, each night at some point, my brain wakes me up going, it's all over. It's all <laughs> over for you yeah. now. <laughs> There's some serious anxiety with the driving, though. Every, yeah. the, the worst is we sometimes choose, like, yo, when do we want to tour? Winter. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> when is it cold? When is there ice? Let's go then because we have yeah. to drive everywhere. And then we like, we, that's when we choose to go uh, up there. And for every, there's like this area in the mountains called Death Valley. And we're like, just so you know, driving through Death Valley tonight. We're like, okay, that sounds, sounds great. great. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. will say props to, uh, to Set It Off fans. We, we had to play a couple. We had to reschedule some shows for the snow. Yeah. And then we played a couple in Michigan. And um, they don't care about the snow oh, at yeah. all. Oh, yeah. It was they're, kind of amazing. Yeah, they just, they'll, they'll be walking uphill both ways to get there. And they're like, yeah, it's just Tuesday, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> like, you, like, saw them outside. Like, Yo, okay. They're like, oh, yeah. yeah. Totally. <laughs> this they're is, in, this like, is every day. Yeah, they're in shorts. <laughs> like, yeah. how are yeah. you doing this? Dude, our, our guitar tech, Nate, on this tour, he wears shorts every day. You Dude. know where he's from? Michigan. Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I should have known. <laughs> Dude, always wearing shorts. Yeah. It's, like, it's like hailing outside. Does it get? Doesn't bother me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I did a country accent. He like, yep, <laughs> I'm Nate. Yep, that's me. Nice. Nice. You know this Michigan accent. <laughs> <laughs> From Detroit, born and raised. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> oh, so what are we going to crack into this? this I don't know. Ugly, nasty no, because it doesn't look appealing at no, all. No, it looks too. like a, the husk of a dead bug, dude. <laughs> That and think about this. Once we eat it, we're gonna have to do the rest of the podcast. Yeah, maybe oh, we yeah. do maybe it towards we the back end when we when we're gonna get into the Q and A. So we're like recovering from yeah. it. I think that's good. I think that's one a good of these days we should do like that one. You ever seen the like the one hot chip challenge thing? Oh yeah. Oh, have you ever done something like that? So no. I I had it saved away. I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it like specially on Twitch one day or something, and it just didn't work out. Um, kind of glad it didn't. But also. I would also do it for the podcast. You would like, you know how like like hot ones, obviously things like that. Yeah. How do you think you would fare? Oh, on hot ones? Yeah. Oh, so bad, dude. <laughs> so bad. I think it would be like historically bad. Like the first one, you're like, yeah. that's not that's oh, just that's mayonnaise. <laughs> that's not even the wing. Yeah, that, was, that was the ranch dressing you were dipping it into. We just started with a naked this is really, wing. Really, there. really, really so hot though. <laughs> I would. I think I would do so bad. I've done like. Um, I tried one of. Yeah, dude, I did. Too. I did like. Uh, did you try it at my place? Maybe. Yeah. It was like the bomb, but we did like a toothpick amount. No, I did. Uh, I had last dab. Oh, okay. I heard the bomb is worse. Yo, the bomb's fucked up, dude. Really? I did like a tiny little bit in like with a toothpick. Okay. And then did, did this, and I'm like, dude, I was like running around the apartment, like, fuck this, yeah. this yeah. is so Steam fucking. Steam was coming out of your ears. Yeah. It was yeah. amazing. And then all logic leaves your brain. And you're like water, and everyone knows, no, you don't do water. But in the moment, that's all you want, and yeah. then you're just stuck in this purgatory of heat. Yeah, and it just doesn't get better. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. Now that we've talked about ginger for twenty five yeah. minutes, <laughs> it's so weird to me that we're going to play a full show yeah. Yeah, on yeah. this very I'm stage. Excited. Yeah. Are y'all pumped about it? <laughs> Hell yeah! Is there is there a moment in the set that you uh, uh, like the most that you're? Oh yeah. That's, oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Because they're uh, about to see it. So then they're yeah. going to be like, that's the moment he said. Well, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember. I remember. He said that. Oh, I do have a moment now that I'm thinking about it. Because like, yeah. the set changes from, from show to show, tour to tour. And um, in the last tour we did, we, uh, we had like a snippet of different songs we were playing. And now we're playing the whole song. And there is a moment right before the chorus kicks in 
Or like I'm like I'm getting excited and I see people see me get excited, so I see them get excited that I'm getting excited. And then I'm like bouncing and then we know we're all about to jump and then it goes off and that's like the moment where I'm like, Oh, this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> I really love that. I think mine is like all of dangerous. I just oh, yeah. playing dangerous live is so much fun. It's a lot of fun. I didn't think it was gonna be the song for me, but it really is. I love that. It's also I, like forty seconds long. Yeah, so it's like here yeah. we go, it's over. <laughs> Get out. It, it, you it's know, like, it, wicked, it, it, it's over. We were talking about this the, uh, the other day, about like how you, you never know what song on the album is like the single to pick, like yeah. which one should go off. Oh, and, and we're notoriously bad oh, at yeah. so uh, bad. Case in point, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. Yeah. <laughs> how can we be... Dude, we never got a video. <laughs> didn't, didn't, we never made a video for that song, even when it started to really blow up. Yeah. We were still like, bah. We tried a couple things. They just both fell through. <laughs> But yeah. 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 What's another song that we should have picked for a single but we didn't? Um, Dreamcatcher was one too. Dreamcatcher, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a great tune. Didn't pick that. That's why that never got a video. Nope. That's kind of crazy. I know. We almost yeah. called our whole fan base that. We didn't make a music video <laughs> for it. Oh, man. It's, it's weird. And that's one thing that I really appreciate is just like, it's, it, we'll never be able to choose it correctly because everyone else decides yeah. just based on what they're listening to the most and what they like the most. But just being able to predict that is so hard. But that being said, yeah. um, the reaction that we got from Dangerous, not only from yeah. the fans, but from places we've never gotten before, like, like PGA yeah. and NHL. And this Sunday, tomorrow actually, Woo! is WrestleMania Backlash, and Dangerous oh, is the official theme song yeah. for that pay per view. Can I throw you through the table? Yeah. Throw you through the table right yeah. now? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Which that's I how think. we end the podcast. Yeah. We're power bombing Max to the table. <laughs> and then we can't play the show. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing. But yeah, it's it's amazing, and 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 I mean, you you have no idea when it just we just started just started happening. Yeah, it's not like you can plan for this kind of thing. You just kind of kind of. It roll really the is like that. Like I think a lot of people think that like we're like all right, we're gonna submit to this and hopefully it works out. And, and we don't personally do it. There's like a team within the label, and they're like, yeah, can you sign this contract that's happening tomorrow? We're like, what? <laughs> that's great. That's great news. Dude, when we found out that we were getting the WWE backlash thing, we were out to dinner with. Our manager, yeah, at a really nice restaurant, and then out of nowhere, he's like, "Oh, I got the boys here on speakerphone," and it was our sync agent, and he's like, "Just like, hey, you guys are gonna be the WWE backlash thing," yeah. and it was like literally, it felt like we were living like in a movie. Yeah. It was yeah. like a, a documentary on our lives. Like yeah. it was like crazy. Yeah, like a man in a in a big suit with a cigar is gonna come down. He's like, "I'm gonna make you stop, <laughs> yeah. kid." Yeah, got spunk. I like that. But then you also, you take like, you rewind a bit and you're like, remember when um, tomorrow night we were going to stay in a Walmart parking lot in the van and then <laughs> that nice dinner was actually a $5 hot and ready Little Caesars. Yeah, like, yeah, and, yeah. and it's just kind of cool to think about these are all the things we've wanted to do and it's, we're finally starting to see some stuff happen. I so. still love that crazy and, bread though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so good. Big fan of that crazy bread. How are we looking, Mac? Let's wear, let's wear a suit and go hey, to Hey, give it up for Mac. Yeah, yeah, Mac. Yeah, Mac. Yeah, Mac. Our unofficial official producer yes. for the podcast and videographer. He is, yeah. he is our unofficial official. So uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are some things, because this technically, I guess, would be season two of the podcast. Yeah, yeah we what, didn't really tell anybody we were doing that, yeah. but yeah. What's <laughs> different? What's different this time? What's going what's gonna to take it up a notch well, for you? One thing we, that you will soon see is that we don't have a big old intro anymore. Now we just hit record and we just start yeah. talking. That's right. Which I like a lot. Yeah, I used to sing all the intros. Yeah, now we sing at the end. Yeah, uh, we sing at the end. We, we've all taken turns. Which is fun. I think Max, you're up this time, right? No, it's Cody. It's me this time. Oh, it's Cody. your Yeah, turn. we all have a, a, a rehearsed ending song yeah. that is made up new every time, and we all have to sing it together. So, yeah. yeah. It's gonna, it is rehearsed. It's going to be in shambles. We know it. <laughs> I'm so glad that I don't have to sing the intro songs anymore, though. I know. I could say you're like, at by the end, you're like, I do it enough. I do it, I know. I did it once as a joke. You're like, forever now, forever. <laughs> Do you, I like uh, it, please, more. <laughs> do you want to do one for old time's sake? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> oh, now they're cheering you on. Oh, I, I, could, oh, I guess how I... Oh, uh, I would do Dangerous. Yeah, yeah, I'll Go for it. Digga, digga, do, digga, digga, do, digga, 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 do, digga, digga, do, digga, digga. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This podcast has been going on. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah. Well, hey, well done. Maybe I'll do it again. for Zach, please, everybody. <laughs> feels good. I never talk in front of an audience, so it's you. Yeah, I know. God, this feels interesting for sure. <laughs> yeah, so what's, what's it like? Let's talk about oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, how, you, how I never talk in front of a crowd? No, no, like, like now it's like we're all talking on oh, stage. Oh, yeah. It's definitely different. <laughs> but it's fun, though. Is it nerve-wracking? 
Not really. At yeah. first, when it, when the curtain was first opening, I was like, oh, shit. And you're the first person they saw because they were from the center. You're like, who the fuck's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the pink-haired guy? <laughs> Where's the pink-haired guy? Him. <laughs> Oh, also, oh, What's wrong? I was going to say we matched with our hair color, but... Uh, uh, disappointing. Disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say, so, uh, for the, the headlining set we've been doing, um, this is, for the past couple tours, I've been able to uh, go in the front for a little bit and talk. Yeah. And it is terrifying when you're standing there, because first of all, when you're, when you're playing drums, people can't see your legs. I don't know what it is, but I don't like when people can see my legs. I feel vulnerable to attack. Are you wearing? Um, are you wearing shorts? Don't right now? look. Now you're all are looking. You don't look. Now no. I want to look. Don't look. Um, but there is something, and it's only happened like once or twice. But you go in, and the whole thing about uh, talking to people, especially if you're like front man for a show, you want to like hype them up. So you'll say something, and you hope that you get like a big woo yeah. afterwards. And there's been like one or two times where I've said something, and it's been crickets. Oh, no. <laughs> there's nothing once we're like, "Are you ready?" And they're like, "Yeah." Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was the one? What was the one that you did that got a huge reaction? It was like, "I have a stomach ache." Oh, I, I was just telling them that I had a stomach ache, and I was being really brave about it. <laughs> <laughs> that one went off. That one dude. went pretty yeah. good. But then we were in we were in Philadelphia. Which is, you know, they love sports, and I went, yeah. there we go, yeah. yeah. And so I walk up there, and I go, go birds, yeah. Nothing, yeah, dude. Ah. Nothing. Well, they could have thought you said gogurt. Maybe so. they thought I said gogurts. <laughs> it's like this guy likes gogurt. Yeah, what the a fuck? Lot. Well, it's, a, it's a decent snack. Yeah, no one really I mean, talks I about like it yogurt out of a cu- <laughs> I can eat yogurt out of a cup, though. So yeah, yeah. I am an adult. I don't so. need to squeeze the yogurt out of a tube anymore. <laughs> it's it's for on the go. That was. <laughs> That was a thing. Dude, guys sell I don't go-gurts. want to be a go-gurt apologist, but it's for the go. You know, it's not for you to, you know, just be in your living room. Like, I, I'm going to... Did anybody eat go on the go? No. I didn't. When, when are you what? running and you're like, I don't have time, <laughs> dude. I need go now. It's always like in the commercials, the guy's doing like kick flips and shit while yeah. doing it. Nobody's doing that. They're all sitting down playing I video need games. sustenance miss mid kick flip. There's no way. You're like on the football field. <laughs> Yeah. Quick! Instead of the squirt and water, the squirt. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. dude, it's gonna, it's going everywhere. They're throw up. Now. Yeah. It's no, genius. And they, no one wants like, like, isn't it mold? Isn't yogurt essentially? Stop. Oh, <laughs> get out of here! Don't make me hate something else. <laughs> He's a picky eater. I don't, I'm honestly probably wrong, but it's it'll curdle. Let's just be honest <laughs> oh. about it. You don't want no one was like, you know what? Before I run a lot, I'm gonna eat a heaping amount of yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> So let's act. Let's sell it to active people yeah. while they're being. Active. It is. It is. It is genius marketing. They're like, we can just sell less if we make it rad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and who's it rad for? I have no. It's the same thing with Capri Sun, where they're just like, what if we made them think they'll turn into silver moving things if <laughs> oh they drink all of this sugar? Yeah. Yeah. That 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 was '90s marketing, though. You had one shot to get that straw in <laughs> the Capri Sun, and if you messed up, sucks, dude. You're never getting it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do, do not blow into the straw. I did yeah. it every time. I, me too. Did you? Did it every well, like, time. Well, I was ready because I knew what the reaction would be. You blow into the straw, the liquid's going to come out. But it was just kind of fun. It was like a budget science experiment. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That you're doing alone in your room. Yeah, that I know the result every time. <laughs> yeah. I was the kid at the you're dinner table. I was the kid at the dinner table who was like blowing bubbles into his chocolate milk. I've done that oh, too. Making a mess, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're like, that's why you're not the adult table. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> And you're like, yeah, that is right. That is right. right. I got to stop doing this. Yeah, people are always talking about like, oh, I would never give my kid an iPad, but that's what's going to happen if you don't. They're going to make a mess, dude. (laughs) They're going to blow bubbles into their drink. (laughs) Good luck. Speaking of food, should we do this? Right now? Right now? How much time? Mac, how much time? (laughs) 10 minutes? 10 minutes still? Oh, that's perfect. Okay. 10 minutes till the first half is done. Oh, yeah, not dead yet, but we're not going to do this during Q&A, right? You don't want to do that then answer a question? I don't know how to use this. Let me ask you a question, Zach. I'm a trained knifeman. Uh, Zach and Cody, did you ever think that you would be cutting... (laughs) Also, uh, this knife is fucking gross, dude. It's gross, but it's sharp. Did you ever think you would be cutting ginger ginger in front of a live audience? I used it all right? Don't judge me. Did did you you ever think that you would be cutting ginger for me, specifically? (laughs) What you're about to see me do is what I do alone in our band when I can... And I'm like, yeah, let's let's make sure everyone. This is another. Th- this is one of those things that Cody does for his voice, and he does so many different things that are hilarious. Sometimes before Cody gets even gets out of his bunk, even opens the curtain to get out of his bunk, you'll just hear from his bunk going, Ooh! 
And that's him testing his voice, but if you didn't know that, it sounds like there's an insane person. Yeah, there's also, there's this one he does sometimes when, uh, like, he'll go into the bathroom, and it sounds like there's a ghost in there. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> yeah, you think the bandwagon's haunted. It's just it's just Cody getting ready. Yeah. So, just, Cody, what do you do when you're in a band, man? Is it crazy? Yeah. No, man, like, this is what we do. Yeah. I, I scream like a ghost in a bathroom, yeah. and I cut ginger, and I make tea. He also, he goes on vocal rest a lot, and so he only communicates in whistles and fart sounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because yeah. he can't talk to us. Because I thought so. it'd be funny if whistles were yes and farts were no. <laughs> it's a pretty accurate system. It works pretty well. And I feel like we've definitely talked about this on the podcast, I feel like, but... You do? Oh, That's fuck a me. Big piece, man. Yeah. Oh, you got a honking I piece. I got No, you get this one. No, no. It's too late. Okay. It's too late. If I have to spit this up, nobody can look at me. Everybody well, we has to do, look well, away. You can't swallow it. So we brought cups. We're not going to, we're trying to, we'll hide the cup from you. It's not going to be pleasant. <laughs> God damn, I don't want to do this. All right. Well, we got 10 minutes. This is all the more reason, by the way, you're going to want to see the facial expression. So if you're just listening to the what? podcast, you got to see it. Oh, you got to see the, yeah. the video. And what's funny is it's not, I've been doing this forever. It's not going to bother me at all. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to be like, oh, we'll check oh, yeah. my phone real quick. What, what year is this? Is this like a 94? <laughs> <laughs> Ew, dude. From yeah, 19... That's very old. How do you do this? Are they, do you like cheers before? Yeah, yeah. we should, I Oh, guess. wait, let's make up a tradition. All right, yeah. Okay. We're going to eat ginger together. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, one word at a time. Yeah. We're, We're gonna eat ginger together. And it's gonna be so bad. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty good at that game. Yeah, I like it. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, okay, we here we go. Right. I fucking... Ah! You gotta chew. Dude, it tastes like... You know those light... Oh! Oh. It tastes like eating a Lysol wipe, dude. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, nothing makes it go away. <laughs> I forgot when he did it the first time. He stood at the door as if opening the door and looking out the door would make it go away. <laughs> it has to leave. It's like playing Bean Boozled, but you always lose, man. <laughs> It's so bad. Oh, God, who found that was like, yeah, we're going to make shit out of this. <laughs> oh. And that's good for your voice. It is, yeah. It's Do very you feel good? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, man, it burns. I couldn't hold that in my mouth for a second oh. longer. <laughs> Props to Zach for going through it again. Oh. It sits oh. on your tongue. Anything for the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it good and sits on the tongue. Oh, it's it's just it feels like your tongue is pulsing. Yeah. I'm gonna. It's. I want you to know that when the show is happening, I'm still gonna be tasting this. You're gonna yeah, see yeah. me playing drums. Yeah. I'm gonna put on a brave face, but I'm still gonna have. Actually, to Actually, the first time mouth. you tried this, I think we were in Chicago, and and Max was he's singing more now on the set, which is yeah. dope. Uh, and woo! so, Thank but every now and then, you know, he's like, he's like, all right, my voice feels a little rough today. What do you do? And I'm like, you sure? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty yeah, bad, man. Yeah, it's yeah. not great. Yeah. I want to put the sheath back on this knife. It feels dangerous. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, no pun intended. Go ahead and pop that back on. Brandishing. Bra is that brandishing? Brandishing. Oh, a throwback. Really? Oh, Love to, to an it. earlier podcast, if you will. Wow. I'm so nervous, Mac. You have to shout how much time we have. <laughs> Say it with your chest. Eight, Eight? until we switch to uh, Q&A. Oh, okay. I, I'm kind of down to move on to Q&A. Yeah, now. I'm running out of shit to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're done? No, we still have eight minutes. We have, we okay, have to well, yeah, what do you want to talk about? We're in a bowling alley. Uh, we did, <laughs> recently, uh, Cody got a uh, Wii Bowling. Oh, Switch, Switch, Nintendo Switch, Switch, Switch Sports. Bowling. Yeah. And I just want to say, uh, yes, I am the best at it. You're the best at bowling. <laughs> oh, and you're pretty good at the soccer one. The soccer one, we go back and forth on oh, quite yeah. a bit. Dude. I tennis, tennis. We tennis. made a song out of all the sports. Oh, I don't remember. I how only it goes. remember the tennis part, but it yeah. is. It's. We just it name. Goes. It's. I don't know how good this is going to sound out loud. Just going for it, but it's like you name all of them. It's like uh, tennis, badminton, soccer, blank, and tennis, 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 tennis. And we just made a whole deal out of it. We. Yeah. What we like to do is make a joke that's not that good and run it into the ground. Yeah. That's one thing that we've done really well. That a, For a lot long of time. yeah, a lot of people that have toured with us have been like, yeah, you guys really love running jokes into the ground. Like, yeah, yeah, and singing about anything. Oh, we made a yeah, whole yeah. today. We made a whole thing about uh, Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, 
a did. whole we song. Did. What is it? It's like um, it was good. It was no, like, it had different verses. Whoa, Facebook Marketplace! <laughs> Whoa, Facebook Marketplace! Whoa, Facebook Marketplace! I got a shoe, pair of shoes for like twelve bucks. Like Whoa, Facebook Marketplace! Whoa, Facebook Marketplace! Whoa, Facebook Marketplace! Whoa, Facebook Marketplace! Said wicker chair from my grandma's house. Whoa, Facebook Marketplace! Said Whoa, Facebook Marketplace! Said Whoa, Facebook Marketplace! Holographic 1999 Michael Jordan poster. Whoa, Facebook Marketplace! Yeah, it's, Ikea it's, lamps for a little bit less. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Facebook Marketplace. It's, it's, it's a shitty Craigslist. Whoa, yeah, Facebook yeah. Marketplace. It's a good improv. We did it's it for 30 improv. minutes. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. People, uh, there are other people on the bus with us yeah, that yeah. just have some to people suffer in silence, man. And some people are like, this will end eventually. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get through this eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It is, it is a lot of fun touring, especially trying to entertain ourselves on the road because yeah. this is a lot of like how it is. It's just us fucking around <laughs> trying to entertain ourselves because it goes back to the van days when we had yeah. to. We had to do anything to stay, you know, in good spirits. Yeah. Like, if shit would go bad with our van, like a lot of bands that we knew would get really bummed. We'd be like, fuck, we blew out a tire. How are we going to afford to get to the next show? And then we would make as many jokes as we could about it to make ourselves laugh because we'd be like, if we don't, it becomes too real. And then we <laughs> yeah, one time our, we were in a van. I don't know if you talked about this in the podcast or not. We were in a van overseas and our vehicle got totaled. Oh, yeah. And we created a whole scenario about a boy band called the Six American Boys yes. whose hit song was called Fart Out the Window. Yes. And eventually Eventually, they go onto a talk show and they find out that one of them has never farted. And the audience goes, there were only five American boys. <laughs> that one got us through so well that later, I remember, because again, we were overseas, I remember calling my dad and he was like, how's the tour been? And I was like, oh good, we got in like a really bad accident. <laughs> I was yeah. like, oh yeah, that's bad. That was a bad yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, no, but we're fine. But it's fine. <laughs> it's always fine. And that's, I, yeah, that's what we've we've gotten good at is rolling with the punches on tour. Yeah. Like, especially when, because these sh next shows with Sum 41 Simple Plan were supposed to be like the biggest of yeah. the tour. You know, there was, uh, I think Stone the, Pony outside. Yeah, Stone 4,000 tickets. Shout out yeah. Stone Pony. I know yeah. you're listening. And uh, for anyone yeah. listening and not watching, there are actually all 4,000 people are here <laughs> yeah. tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you for coming. Y'all made it. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I appreciate it. All 10,000 of you are here. <laughs> we're going to take that track and layer by like 20. <laughs> Yeah, but like normally, I feel like something that early on in our career would have like devastated us. But instead, we were like, let's do the, let's do our own show. Let's do the podcast live. Yeah, let's yeah. Make it fun, which we've gotten good at. Yeah, instead yeah. of being like, oh, yeah, oh, <laughs> now we don't get to play. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is a really good litmus test, though, because you know if this goes well. We're probably yeah. just going to do more of yeah. this. Oh, so. dude, that's another thing. I'm remembering so much. I'm having We're, fun. Is this as fun for you? Yeah. Is it? Okay, cool. I hope it is. Yeah, me too. We were talking, <laughs> My first thought was like, they're just being nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about doing it. it. If this... <laughs> If the podcast did well, we were talking about, you know, we'd have to take it on tour then, right? Yeah. yeah. So then we would do the podcast on tour. And we could save so much money because it could just be the three of us and like one other person. We'd be like, yeah, sick. We'd save so much money. We could do it in a rental car. It would be so badass. We're like, oh, but we would need like somebody to do lights. Yeah. And then it's like, all right, there's another person. Well, we need a merch person. We need merch, yeah. yeah all yeah, right, yeah. so that's okay. five. Who's going to book okay. the tour? We need a book. Oh, agent. we need yeah, a book yeah, agent. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. And, then, and then all of a sudden, we keep going down the line. We need a like, sound yeah. We're in a bandwagon <laughs> again. <laughs> it's the same <laughs> tour. It's the same shit again. <laughs> We're spending just as much money. Yeah. How did this happen? <laughs> I like oh. the idea that it's two separate entities, that the yeah. people in time... What was that? Oh, oh yeah, I thought you're it, good. Did you want oh? to sign? He, our producer... Ah, there's up. two minutes yeah. left. Wow. But that the people, like us, we're not set it off. We're talking yeah. it off. Yeah, yeah. 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 The set it, I'm excited to see set yeah. it off tonight. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be cool. Yeah. We, we have the same... We were making a joke earlier, like, did you did you guys meet uh, Talk It Off today? Yeah. They, they, they're they hopping on today to, to open up. We're like, no, yeah, I, opening band. we gave ourselves this idea that we're all different people, like... Yes. Like, yeah, I heard Corey's going to be out there <laughs> yeah. and that everyone, for some reason, is wearing a fake mustache. And if you already have a mustache, you just wear a fake mustache on top of your already mustache. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Corey, Jack, and Matt. Yeah, yeah Corey, yeah, Jack, yeah. and Matt. They and seem I'm, like I'm, nice not Corey, I'm not Cody Carson. I'm Corey Crossman. Corey Crossman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm, Zach, I'm Jack DeWalt. DeWalt? Yeah. yeah. Like the Heir like like yeah, to, <laughs> to the power tools. <laughs> Tools. Just all of them. <laughs> Zach DeWalt, first is his name. Heir to the power, power tools. tools. <laughs> I love that. Um, what was your last is name? Is that why you wore yellow? Oh. 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 
I am a yellow man. <laughs> There's a I saw the part of your face was like, you didn't yeah. just do that. I didn't even realize. <laughs> uh, I, that, that, that is one fun thing. 30 seconds left. Fuck! Oh, oh! Uh, the first half of the podcast is ending in 30 seconds. I don't know if any of this is going to be kept. This going to explode. The ending song. What about the ending no, song? No, no. This no, is no, the no, first we do that at the very seconds. end. Yeah. Uh, so we have to, so 30 seconds. So we could probably just restart it now, right? So yeah, let's do uh, it. I'll tell you what, as we go into this Q&A thing, um, so obviously, you know, show of hands, we're going to pick someone. Uh, yeah, speak loudly and clearly because yeah. <laughs> we've been playing music for a decade and our ears are shot. So, so. shot. Uh, so are we going to do the Q&A now? Does, it, does anybody have any questions? All right, yes. we got a couple. You, what's your name? Uh, my name's Lex. Lex. How you doing, Lex? What's your question? Are there any songs in your, in your discography that you wish you could have gotten more time to work on? Oh. Ooh. Question from Lex is, are there any songs in our discography that we wish we had more time to work on? I think every ballad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's so hard. Like, you feel like it's such a delicate thing to write that you never feel like it's finished. And I think the first one I ever felt that way about was Dad's song. And that was, a, that was like, you know, it's such, a, it's such a personal topic. So I never felt okay letting go and letting other people, because I like to co-write a lot. But with that one, I was like, no, it has to be me. Um, but because of that, the reason why I like co-writing is I get like, even when like we're doing stuff with the band, if I think of something, I like bouncing think ideas off of each other. Like, is this cool or am I just in my own head? Yeah. And so uh, that was a difficult one. There's actually a song that is still in the demo pile that was supposed to go into this album. Um, it is not finished as far as I'm concerned. Um, if it ends up happening, I'll say it on here. What's it called? Missing Me. Oh, yes. Did you, did you think that's what it was? That's what I in, thought. In, yeah. In, 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 in. It, it's, it, we had like a really rough demo of it, like bare bones. And I went into work with it with a friend, but it was just, we got it going in the right direction, but it just wasn't finished. And usually, if a, if a demo doesn't make it onto the album, it's left in the demo pile forever. Because I'm like, well, if it didn't make it onto this one, but we somehow tell ourselves it should make it onto the next one, then it sounds like we're taking a step backwards. So, but this is a special case. So it, it's hard. Usually when the song makes the album, I feel like we found a, a finished product. But they're, the ballads are the ones where I'm like, I struggle the most mentally with probably. Yeah. Great question. Yeah, that was good. You got a question? Yes. You. Wait, me? You. Sure. Sorry. I, <laughs> what's Talk your name? Sharon. Sharon? Sharon, what's your question? Uh, Oh, Ooh, you got to take this one. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, man, that's hard. Do it by song and house. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't even pick Go song one. by song in track order from um, memory. <laughs> uh, maybe Magic 8. Oh. Yeah. Do you understand? Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? I also, think Magic 8. Shout out to the uh, the Lady Luck makeup. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Really cool. That is really dope. I saw that on Twitter. And I was like, I was like, Lady Luck makeup. Awesome. I think Magic 8, and I don't know why. Maybe because the word magic's in it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. If I had to choose one, I think I'd go cordial. Oh. I just like how it starts with the strings, and it just feels like yeah. if you took the melody away, that it, would, it could fit in like almost like a, a low-key battle scene of sorts. Yeah. yeah. I could hear Voldemort singing Peekaboo. Who's <laughs> 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 playing Peekaboo? <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. Yeah. Imagining Harry Potter characters singing set it off songs. Yeah. There we go. Magic it would probably be the best one for that yeah. now that I now you mention it. It was the perfect answer. Yeah, Thank you I so think much. he nailed it. I think Zach nailed it. Well done, Zach. <laughs> oh my god, it's the third Zach clap. Yeah. I never get Zach clap. <laughs> Zach clap, Zach clap, Zach clap, Zach clap, Zach clap. For a while, a lot of people were calling the band Zack it off. Though. Yes, they were. Yeah. <laughs> anytime, anytime. This is something that I've loved. That anytime we post like on social media, Instagram, whatever, we post a picture of Zack. There's always one comment. It's like, finally, some Zontem. <laughs> Zontem. Dude, and there's always that one person that's like, "What's your blood type?" <laughs> oh, that's yeah. What are they looking for? I don't know. It's fucking scary. You need though. to stay in the rig today. <laughs> you need to not leave. Never the wagon. posting my blood type. I actually don't even know it. So. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows that? Raise your hand if you don't know your blood type. What a what an interesting question. I'm not positive. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah, you're not positive. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> wow. Um, I really should know that. I don't know it either. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, so what, stop what, asking. We got a question back there. <laughs> you all the way back there. Yes, waving. You just waved. 
You. You're, you're, yes. Yeah, we're not like doing a good have, job of, of... Yeah, you're waving right now. You with the wave with the hand. It's like your, the most classic set it off shirt of all yeah. time. You're opening your jacket right now? I, I can't tell. It. What's your question? Oh, what's your name and what's your question? Billy. Oh, my God, that's oh, Billy! Billy! Oh, yeah. shit! Oh, my God! That's one of our very good friends. Your hair looks amazing. <laughs> I couldn't... I, I was gonna say your jacket was like, well, your jacket's great. The shirt, I don't know about it. <laughs> yes, amazing. That was a shirt yeah. designed by um, the singer of Select Start, which I don't oh, know if yeah. a lot of people might not know that band, but those like were our hometown heroes in like Tampa Bay. Yeah. Um, Joe was his name. Yes. What is his name? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is still with us. He's still so. with us. <laughs> What uh? Yeah. What well, was your What was your question, Billy? No, it, uh, that, was that was it. it. Oh, and yeah, love it. Hey, Billy, that was great, like... great friend, Billy. Terrible question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that is our second shirt design ever. Yeah, I think was it the is. first one the one four three shirt. I think it was a, it was a you you might be able to help me. Was it a yellow one yeah. with the shark on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Made no sense compared. Like it had nothing to do with us. It was like yeah, we got a shark on it. <laughs> it yeah, might probably. have been. Yeah, yeah. Wow. When was the last time you played that? Oh, God. <laughs> early, I think it early, like summer of 79, probably. <laughs> Billy's asking when's the last time we played Pages and Paragraphs, and it's been a while. It, you know, that's a difficult thing, too. With, like, our discography is vast. And there's a lot of people that have been with us at the beginning times and hearing those older songs. But there was also a time we were like, you know what? We're going to let everyone choose the set. Yeah. And it was like all older songs, so we did it. And then we would go play shows, and there'd be people in the front like, what the fuck is this yeah. song? <laughs> and most, and like, there'd be a few people like, yeah, for me! And we're like, yeah, but most of them don't know it. Yeah. <laughs> it would tough, tough to figure that stuff out. Um, but yeah, it's been a minute. The, the other day, actually, I, we kind of went back on a, this like just nostalgia kick of, I haven't listened to Come For The Storm EP in so long. Yeah. And I was like, well, let's, let's listen to it. And we put it on. We're like, this wasn't bad. Yeah. yeah. I well, remember. Really proud. Proud. Give us yeah, a yeah. When, yeah. I was, uh, when I found out that Set It Off was auditioning a drummer, yeah. that album, that EP had just come out, and that was what made me decide to do it. I was like, this album rocks ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rocks ass. Yeah. I, listened to, I listened to pages and paragraphs, and then for like the next three days, I couldn't get it out of my head. Yeah. And I'm like, I got to audition for this band. Aww. I thought you were going to be like, Dad, come quick. This album, it rocks ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, turn it down. Yeah. It's like, when are you going to go to college? Text me, Kelly. <laughs> Dude, the th- this is such an inside joke, but the time that we were at a rest- we were uh, at a random mall somewhere, and uh, we wanted to go get Little Caesars. Or, uh, a CC's you know, pizza. CC's yeah. pizza, and you accidentally pocket dialed your dad, yeah. and we're like running across the street like, we're going to CC's pizza. <laughs> we imagined his dad being like, okay, cool. Are you making money yet? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care that you're <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, my son called today. <laughs> um, he's he very was, excited to eat CeCe's pizza. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> he's 26. So. Oh, wow. What, uh, what, did anyone else got any questions? Oh, we got some oh, yeah. questions. What's your question? Yeah, what's your name and what's your question? My name's Joanne. Joanne. Yeah, that's my name. Nice to meet you. Beautiful name. Ask how you guys are today. Oh. oh asking how we are today. Honestly, great. Oh. Anyway, uh, this is the most nervous uh, I've been. Really? I think for like a show situation because of the, doing the podcast. I'm oh, obviously yeah. fine for like doing our show, but like this is so new to us. Yeah. But it was it was kind of exciting to feel like, you know, first of all, last minute show. Yeah. yeah How's yeah. this going to go? Who wants to come last minute? And yeah. you all did. And that's amazing. Thank you so, so much. We Thank love you. you all so much. Round of applause. Round, round of applause for yourself. Applause. All 40,000 of you showed up. <laughs> yeah. I really appreciate it. The yes. number gets higher every I'm time. I'm glad all 500,000 people made it today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, seriously, it's it definitely means a, lot. a fire code violation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm I'm doing great personally. Yeah, played a lot of Zelda today. Yeah, <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Still haven't found all the fucking shrines, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm having ups and downs today. Yeah, because uh, I'm getting real on them. Oh yeah, <laughs> getting pretty real. Oh boy, what happened? <laughs> oh, oh, who's gonna look at on here? Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I uh, I no, just because uh, we were supposed to go to New York. Yeah. Uh, oh. Tomorrow, and uh, I got tickets to this friend experience. Yeah, the friends experience. The show of friends. The show of friends. I really wanted to see the sets that they built there because I'm, you know, I've been watching the show forever, and now I can't go. It's so. also not the first time you've been trying to book this. Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> You've been trying to book this for how long? 
Oh, dude! Like at least a, like a year since well, since Soren came back. Every and time we, if you could, if you could have seen the excitement in his eyes when he was hitting purchase. Yeah, I know, and it got yeah. ripped away. Yeah, I know. It'll happen. It'll happen. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, some <Sum> forty-one. <laughs> I'm kidding though. I'm kidding. Uh, of course, of course. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. I'd much rather play the show. And yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I've been uh, <laughs> I've been on a big milkshake kick, and yeah. I haven't had a milkshake yet today. So I'd say I'm doing fair. Oh Would God. you have a full milkshake before we play? Never. <laughs> Never, dude. I Okay, so when I was like 16, I used to be able to eat a whole Chipotle burrito and not stretch at all and play just fine. And now if I like have too much water or like <laughs> something, my whole body's like, well, you're going to have a bad show tonight. Yeah. Your arm's going to hurt the whole time. Dude, that happened right on this tour right before we were about to play a show. Cody and Max got like an intense battle of a Mario Party so, game. And so, dude, his arms were hurting so bad that he had to use like a therapy gun on his fucking arms before we could play just this Just so show. you know, this wasn't like a, it, so it was Mario Party mini game and it was a one we haven't played before. And usually those last what? Two and a half minutes? How yeah, long did this 45 last? minutes. Yeah. We were 45 playing this minutes? game for 45 minutes. It was like Tetris if it lasted forever. Yeah. <laughs> and my arms were up like and, this. like in, And like it's an close L. the whole time. So yeah. we're like holding on at the controller like as hard as we can. And I guess I had been flexing. And so <laughs> I suffered a Switch-related injury. You want to know who won? Nobody. Yeah. We had to concede the game because it wouldn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> we literally were about to miss the show because yeah. we were playing this game. Yeah, it was so, very funny. Yeah, so we're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good day. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody else got a question? What's up? You in the back. Yeah, you. What's your name? Chris. Chris, what's up, Chris? If you could uh, play with any artist or band, who would it be? Like, if you could feature with any artist. Oh, man. Ooh, if That's we could play one. with any artist or band, who would it be? Is this based on what we think would, like, like if their fans would like us or just personally? Personal, like well, who would who, what would like we'd like nerd out the most for? You're kind of having it right now. Yeah, I am. Yes, I mean, some forty one for sure. Yeah. Uh, some forty one or Paramore for me, but definitely some forty one. So it's like a, I'm living my dream, best dream. Yeah, right now. I think for me, band wise, it would be Fall Out Boy. Oh, I thought you were gonna say my chem. Ooh, that's really close. Ooh. My my chem or Fall Out Boy. They're yeah. both like they're on the on the same tier, same tier, right? Yeah, it, it's it's hard to. Decipher between the two. This My Chemical Romance band, they're really blowing up. Yeah, I heard they're doing well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it seems like it's going well for them. Um, I think I would, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, Blink-182 would be amazing. Um, I don't know. I think it would be cool if, like, doing a tour with, like, the zombie Beatles, like, if they came back. Just because, like, it'd be really great publicity. They're like, yeah. why did they take Set It Off out? Are yeah. they a lot? What, they're zombies? I like that that's happening? the headline. Like, zombie Beatles are back, but why Set It Off? <laughs> <laughs> Not that they... <laughs> Yeah, nobody gives a shit that the Beatles are back. They care more about why they're bringing yeah. us out. So yeah, probably one of those two would be nice. Either would be I, great. I, another one for me is I would love to play with Bruno Mars. Yeah, just, that he's, would be cool. I just think that he's the, one of the greatest entertainers we've ever seen, and I would just love to sit side stage and take notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, it's either Sum Forty One or Paramore, and we've done. Mm-hmm. You know, we've never played with Paramore, but it would be dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. That's a good question. Love it. Anybody else? You right there. White and black shirt. Yes. What's your name? Nix. Nix? Yeah. Hey, Nix, what's up? What's your question? Oh, I like that question. Well, what made us decide to dye all our hair for this era? Do you want to lead this one? It's a good question. Yeah. So um, during uh, 2020, I spent a lot of time at home. And um, one of the things that uh, we've gotten a lot from our band from within the industry is people saying, we're not really sure where to place you. You don't really fit into like a certain box. So we don't know what bands you're going to tour with or like what radio station you, we were going to try and pitch you for. And it was always framed as like a negative that we, we made kind of a little bit of everything music wise and just like as people, we don't really fit into one thing. And so I started thinking, what if we just embraced that idea that we don't fit into one box and we're just kind of all over the place and so you get all the, you know these dark songs and these happy songs and everything in between um, and that led into partly what created the look for elsewhere and so to really solidify that and uh, 
make it like real and concrete and tangible within this world. I think I don't know who came up with the idea that we all should do it, but um, I think it was like we had some like collaboration sessions with us and uh, Dan, and who has been doing all of our photo shoots and, and directing our music videos. An, am- an, am- an amazing creator. Yeah. Um, we sat down, and I think. I don't know if it was you. It was either you or Dannon that yeah. were like, that brought up like the hair thing. I had been I had been using a lot of um, yeah different like hair dyeing stuff. Just because again I was just we were bored at home and it was yeah. like let's see what what happens. But I will say one of the one interesting side effect that I didn't think about is when the three of us are just walking down the street, people are like, <laughs> "What the yeah. fuck is that?" <laughs> That happens a lot. So. Dude, uh, this is going to make me tell a story twice uh, in, in, in a podcast, but this will be the first time you all hear it. As We were at a place. I forgot. We were in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I went. I was going to go grab a beer somewhere, and uh, a person, this older dude, sees me walk in, and he just goes, oh. <laughs> and just walks into the other room because he didn't want to stand in the same room as me. And I was like, that's fine. That's fine. A similar question that a lot of people ask is how we picked our colors, too. Yeah. And I don't really remember at all. I remember you were, like, kind of dead set on green. You were already experimenting with green, right? Yeah, a big Kermit fan, so I was like, And was And then you were, like, in between two colors? No, so uh, uh, Dannon was, like, uh, Dannon thought that, like, uh, pink, yellow, and green were, like, a good mixture. Yeah. And I was like, I've always wanted to try pink. Maybe I could do that. And I, ran up, I remember talking to you about it. I was like, are you cool with yellow? No, Dan had suggested yellow. Did Dan suggest yeah, yellow? Dan okay, yeah, Dan was yeah. like, you should do yellow. And I was like, ah. But then Dude, I... This is the first time you ever dyed your hair like a bright ever, color like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Dude, pretty much ever. And then, then, then Zach clap. Can we get no, the Zach clap? Oh, my God. <laughs> here's, here's the Zach thing. Zach, get it off. Zach, get it off. Here's the thing that I, I have been most impressed with is that I think Zach was the most tentative because it yeah. was obviously a big change for you. Yeah. And since then, I don't know if you've seen Zach recently. Oh, yeah. Committed to the yellow. Oh. Yeah. Commits harder than anyone. I'm a fully yellow boy now. Yeah. <laughs> fully yellow boy. Whenever I go into a store to buy clothes, I just scan for yellow like a fucking robot. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> nothing, in, nothing in the Forever 21. <laughs> A Terminator, but instead yeah. of trying to kill John Connor, you just look for yellow shirts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and it's it's been it's been fun though because it's like goes back to even the cinematic days when we were yeah. all when we were wearing like you know the more dressy up clothes, three piece suits. On Dude, stage. I wore a black button up shirt, black pants, and suspenders. white suspenders every day for like four fucking years. Yeah. And I missed it because I never had to worry about clothes ever. Yeah. I just packed that shit in my suitcase forever and I was like, I'm yeah. good to go. Wearing that. What am I wearing? That. Yeah, now yeah. it's just that with yellow. Now. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fun though like because like, before elsewhere my closet was just black clothes and now yeah. it's, I just filter for like colored clothes like pink and stuff and yeah. it's much easier for me now. I know exactly what I'm trying to buy. Yeah. You can yeah. do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's nice. It, oh, anybody else? Oh, there's a few people. Uh, you right there with the glass. Yeah. What's your name? Haley. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Haley. Kaylee, my bad. Sorry, I had me in. I've been five times in two weeks. Oh, hello again. I thought you were saying that you are five. Just so you know, when these are in her eyes, it's very hard to see. But it's great to see you again. What's your question? What kind of hair dye do you use? What kind of hair dye? The last one I was using was Good Dye Young. Nice. Ex-Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a really great shade of pink. Love I it. think I started the first time I ever dyed my hair yellow was at a salon, so I don't actually know. They just fucking put it in my hair. <laughs> I didn't this ask one. questions. <laughs> yeah. I was like, just get it done. Um, but then, yeah, I've been using Good Dye Young, the yellow one. I don't know the name. I should know the name, but I don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, please don't come for me, Good Dye Young. <laughs> The yellow one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good. That it's, would, I hope it's called the yellow one. <laughs> the yellow one. <laughs> it's definitely not. It's probably a sun, it's probably a Paramore song or something. Yeah, okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, so uh, the interesting thing, I'm actually red-green colorblind, so it took me a while to figure out, because I would have to get it dyed <laughs> and then ask someone, is this good? <laughs> is this so, green? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, I got it dyed at a salon, and then, yeah, good dye young. Uh, yeah. I'm going to make up one. It, I was using uh, Shreculus. Shreculus. <laughs> I it was like good. it. Hey, that's not bad. Shrek-tastic, man. Shrek-tastic. Yeah. All right. Steal my sunshine. Oh, wow. Oh. From the crowd. Love I to see it. it. That's good. Cody's ex-girl. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a great one. Nice. Also, if you are trying, found this out from the person that dyed my hair last, if you're trying to maintain it, because this fades a lot, you can literally just pour it into your shampoo. Yeah. That's what I've been doing. Wow. Yeah, and shake it up. Anybody else? Who's picking next? Uh, you, right yeah, there in the middle. Me. Yes, yes. What's your name? Allie. Allie, what's your question? 
Ooh. I like this. Uh, what are our favorite Ooh. pizza toppings? I feel like I. Oh, I'm dude. gonna start some. Cody's gonna go here. for like an hour and a half. Yeah. I like olives, blister chisito peppers. <laughs> with. Okay. Let me. There's here's something you need to know <laughs> about Cody. <laughs> it's not. Is that's that not the answer. With Cody, with food, it has to be. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. It has Yo, Cody also <laughs> does this thing. The Taco Bell thing that oh, we're yeah. going through. Dude, oh, dude. Cody does this thing that I've never seen anybody else do. He, When he takes like a bite of food, he like shuts down his other senses so he can only taste. He closes his eyes and bugs his ears. He's like... <laughs> I don't make that noise. But it's but like, everything else I is must dead only on. have the flavor. <laughs> I that was actually yeah that is a that's a real thing about me if I'm really excited about it I was told if you just and what's weird is I heard they make sensory deprivation restaurants now yeah oh like, which so. that's just they don't want to pay for the lights man yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to save on that power bill yeah, yeah. like we'll just, well, well, how do we how do we spin this we'll just say that it's so that you can taste your food better yeah, yeah love it do it um so but let's let's do oh, yeah, one it was it was pizza topping yeah, that's where we're at. if you could only have one pizza topping what would it be oh damn it. One? One. Your number one pizza topping. Say it. Say it. <laughs> Sausage? Oh! Sa- yeah. That's an interesting choice. Yeah, I, love, I love how it tastes. It's got a bold flavor. goes good on pizza. The controversy I wanted to start, though, is that pineapple does belong on it's pizza. Fine. It's it fine. It's fine. It is hey, hey. incredible. First off. And it's not our fault if you can't take tangy yeah. with, with yeah. savory. It's it, just on you. It's also like <laughs> when, when people make hating pineapple on pizza, they're Why only personality. Because I'm mad about it. <laughs> If you put pineapple on pizza and you say that it's gross and that's your only personality trait, then fuck you! <laughs> I think mine's so it's basic. Gonna come for you. It's fucking pepperoni. Whatever. Pepperoni's good. Pepperoni? Whatever. Pepperoni. I would say, if, if not pepperoni, this one is an option sometimes, and it is a game changer. Garlic. What? Oh. Wait, that's a topping? Oh, it's a topping. Are you talking like minced garlic? Yeah. yeah. Oh, like minced. Oh, dude. I minced the... I minced the... I minced the shit Ooh, out of that yeah. garlic. You won't believe how minced it is. <laughs> Dude, um, I've been having this thing, speaking of uh, food, I've been having the worst luck. I've never Postmated anything on tour before, which oh, is surprising, dear. but I think Postmates really came to like its light in the pandemic era. So now I'm on tour and I'm like, I'm hungry and I don't want to go anywhere. I'm, it's late. I'm going to get Taco Bell. I am strike three. Yeah, he's about to get swept by Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> he's uh, 0-3 against Taco Bell. If he Every loses one more time, time. he loses. I've had to get, I've had to call and get like a refund because every time it takes two hours, and then the last time some person got there and then they were like, mm, "Fuck this," and they left, and I had a new person and they got there and had the same thought. So I'm never gonna have Taco Bell. But in this here's store. here's the debate we've been having. <laughs> when was the last time you went to a Taco Bell late at night and there wasn't a long line? Yeah, it's forever. There's always a long line. So I got Cody. Really- <laughs> Cody thinks that the fucking DoorDash people are just like waiting there, staring okay, at them. Okay, no, we have to talk about this because the first time we did this, Zach, we were ordering together, right? Yeah, I don't know. All right, so I then we, we ordered it. I remember. And then I was getting frustrated because it took an hour and a half for oh, a Taco oh, Bell order. So I was like, hey, man, just hit him with a message and give them, the, give them an out. Be like, hey, I know this app messes up sometimes. Just wanted to see if everything's okay. That way they go, yeah, the app messed up, even if it didn't. And then the bag, I'm going to go. And he started moving. I was like, I knew it. Maybe. Yeah. You don't <laughs> think it was now. just a coincidence? No, because then he goes, no, Zach goes, it's just a long line. It's just a long line. We get there. The dude shows up. Giving us an order from the back seat of oh, an yeah, SUV that was weird. with his three friends, and I was like, "So I was like, long line, huh?" And he goes, "No." Yeah. It's <laughs> like, or, I knew it. <laughs> or he was trying to impress you, and he's like, "I've seen long lines." Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. That's all relative, away. You ever been to Magic Kingdom? <laughs> Dude, it's Disney just World? when you're hangry and all you want is just to eat a taco. Yeah. Oh, it's tough. Yeah. Life it's, is hard. It is. Singular <laughs> taco. Um, oh, we got minutes five left. minutes left. We'll probably do one more question. Yeah, one more. One Max, more. you pick. Max, oh, you I pick. get to yeah. pick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and the, last the last one? one God, yeah. I'm nervous. Um, you. Is that an elsewhere hat? It's a very nice hat. What is your name? Olivia. Olivia? Olivia. Olivia with an O? And what is your question? Uh, fuck, Mary, kill, uh, our <laughs> fuck, fuck, Mary, Mary, Kill, kill our albums. Fuck, Mary, Kill, our albums. Oh, oh, so there's God. more than three. Yeah. How do you fuck an album? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Don't recommend it. <laughs> um, I, I think I would... <laughs> I think I would... I would F duality. Oh. F. F. I'd freaking <laughs> fuck duality. I would marry elsewhere and kill... You're going to hate this. I want to kill cinematics. Yeah. Oh! 
yeah, do you uh, do the do the EPs not count? No. I figured it wouldn't count. Okay, all right, the EPs yeah, don't yeah. count. They said album, so right. Yeah. Which uh, is not an okay, EP. Me, uh, <laughs> which is not a CD. An EP is an extended thank play so where an album <laughs> is. No, thank you. No, it's, it's really enlightening. Thank you. <laughs> really glad you're going this I guess, far with this uh, joke. I guess I would marry uh, duality. It's got that that uh, wolf in sheep's clothing. So yeah, marry duality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, fuck. Um, I don't know why I'm gonna fuck it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess um, I guess cinematics. Oh, Ooh, look how different. And then marry. And then uh, who are you killing? Kill. Killer in the mirror. Mm. <laughs> God, kill. No, actually, yeah, I would kill cinematics too. Yeah, wow. Well, I would cinematics. kill cinematics too. I'm wow. sorry. I'm so sorry. Wow. And I would fuck midnight. Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, all right. I feel like. I feel like. I feel like elsewhere is kind of a freak, you know. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna fuck elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I feel like, you know, I feel like that'd be cool. Um, I feel like uh, if you, uh, man, I think I would marry a midnight because I feel like you'd never get bored. They'd be taking you to all these like weird liminal spaces for the rest of your life. And I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, and then, uh, man. Oh my God, is it gonna happen? <laughs> Are you gonna kill him? Uh, you have to kill. I'm gonna kill cinematics. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck that record! <laughs> so many people I'm kidding, upset. I'm you know what sucks? Here's the thing. I, I love cinematics. But I you do. have to keep I in mind that is record. you always, as an artist, you always love your most recent work. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's, it's not true. that we don't love cinematics. We were forced to kill one. I don't want to fucking. Kill I don't want to kill it. <laughs> I actually yeah. like. I also like, don't want to fuck any of it. <laughs> <laughs> but drum wise, that one's like it's it's up there. That's for gotta like be one of the most fun. It's just the whole time because you know. We were a lot younger when we made it, and we've we've since played a couple of them every now and again. And the whole time, I'm like, "Are you not exhausted, former me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you playing so oh, fast, man? There, Relax." There was a real thing where, like, on uh, the first first EP when everything was recorded on GarageBand, "Baby Don't Trip It Jahara," our our first manager ever. Um, had we got one woo <laughs> yeah. for that. Yeah. A single woo. <laughs> I've heard of Trippin' Jaharda. So, uh, th- I don't know if you ever listened to that. If you try to sing along to it, good luck, because you don't breathe. Yeah. I, I was afraid of leaving any melodic space. And it was just, it's kind of crazy, but that's the sort of thing. It's like, okay, well, the melodies weren't better there, so yeah, we could have yeah. done it. It looks like we're at wrapping up time oh, yeah, right we now. Go. Two minutes left. Um, nice. Thank you so much thank for everything you all. tonight. Um, we're obviously going to be back like soon. Our yeah. friend and Sherry Amore about to come yeah. on stage nice. and play. Also, we, we did just release a fan club very recently that a lot of these episodes are going to yes. come out there preemptively. And uh, we're very excited about it because yeah, yeah. we have a lot of more stuff coming there. And then also, thank you for coming to the Chalk It Off podcast. Yeah. Yeah, Should we, uh, for being here tonight. Should oh, we do the closing, oh, closing song? Closing, closing song. song. Closing song. And it's the theme song that we've been working on for how many weeks? Two yeah. weeks? And we've been rehearsing and it goes like this. It's the Talk It All Podcast. It's, it's really, really great. It's really, really great. And, and everyone, everyone loves it. it. It's, it's really raining.